Hey there guys, this is Hip TV News, where we keep you updated on the latest happenings in the world of music, movies, fashion, comedy, lifestyle and more. Keep it locked. On the news today, Nigerian music is now globally accepted. Sound Sultan. Check out moments from Tattoo Movie Premiere. And now the news in detail. Legendary musician and Niger Ninja boss Sound Sultan says Nigerian music is now globally accepted and can now compete favorably internationally. He said this while speaking with Hip TV. One candid opinion about it all is Nigerian music worldwide now. I say Nigerian musicians are worldwide. Um, if we put a definition to our sound, they call it Afrobeat. But me and I know, you know, say Afrobeat. The first definition of Afrobeat is Orlando Julius, the fella, Nicola Pokuti. And Afrobeat that we're doing now is not the Afrobeat. I would, I would call it hip hop, you know, in Afro way or dancehall in an Afro way, you know. And um, big shout out to everybody. We've done, you know, wonderfully well on the global stage. And a lot of people who love Nigerian musicians and Nigerian artists. So the sound, I don't think the sound is all put together. You can't put it, oh, you just say Nigerian music. You know, I don't, I don't see it like a Makosa or you say this is a, our music is very diverse and it, 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 it hasn't gotten that one sound yet. And I feel that's what's working for us is it might be monotonous at the end of the day. So whatever we're doing, we're doing it right. And I just believe that we don't need to start looking for where to label it as a journal or anything. I just feel that journal artists are ahead of the game right now. And the sound is coming out. We're heavily influenced. That's the kind of um, background that we have as Nigerian musicians. They're heavily influenced by the likes of Shela, Nikola Bokuti, um, you know, even Fuji. Sound Sultan, who is also a social commentator, further spoke against the act of jungle justice going on in the country. According to him, no one should stop crime by committing another crime. Well, I feel jungle justice is one-sided and double standards. Um, we, we, we easily mob and, and lynch someone that still... I'm not justifying, you know, theft or anything. I just feel like we, if we do that for people that are still 10 naira, 20 naira or 200 naira, whatever, you know, we should be able to raise to power our own dread do the same thing for all these leaders that are chopping our money with the same rage and with the same determination to say we want to bring it to book uh, you know we want, we want to get returns of what you've stolen from us you know so if you are just lynching people on the street and burning them and then the people that are chopping the biggest money money that can change the life of your generation you're not doing anything about it then that's a double standard you're just trying to feast on people you know below your you know, level in the whole hierarchy of the food chain why don't you look up and then let's enrage ourselves too against the thieves? I want to double stand about the talk. People when they see me, they know they sorrow. The million dollar still I know go they go don't go. Baba no they grab to my see show. One man I'm a lawman as a soldier. One man as a soldier.